Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra and in this video I will show you how to annotate PDF files in this tablet. So I am using two different apps. The first app is Zodo and the second app is Samsung Notes. So first I will start with the Zodo app. So once you open this app here on this side you see this plus icon just select it. Once you select it the first option is about view and edit file just select it once you select it here you see this option of on my device just select it so here it will show you all your PDF files in your tablet so for example I select this PDF file so here is my PDF file so here you can see now on top we have all different tools available okay so for example I select this tool okay so this tool is about highlighter text highlighter tool okay so once you select it and then if you just select any line in your pdf so it will highlight it okay now for example you want to change the color you can change the color from uh, here you see this icon if you just select it here you have different colors option so here you can see you can select any color from here okay for the text highlighter now the next uh, tool is this tool it's also the highlighter but it is a free highlighter tool so now you can use your pen to select any part for the highlighting okay so you can change the color from here as well for example I select this color and then for example if I want to highlight it so I can highlight it so here you can see this is how I can use this tool now the next tool is the underline tool so here is the underline tool so you just select it and now whatever uh, lines you select it will underline it okay so for example I select these lines okay so here you can see it underline it automatically the next tool is this pen tool so pen tool is very useful for example if you want to write something you can write okay so here we have different pen tools option available you can change the stroke size you can change the opacity you can also change the color for example i select this black color now if i want to point out something i can do it like this using my pen i can write okay so this is how i can use this tool the next tool is the text tool so for example you want to enter some text so you just select this tool okay and then just select any part on your pdf for example i want to write here so i can easily write okay so all the text tool are also available so for example if you want to change the color you can change the color you can change the size okay so here you can see you can change the opacity so all, you can also change the alignment so all the different tools are available over here now the next thing that I want to mention here is for example you want to add pages to this PDF file okay so what you can do is if you go over here on your left top corner you just see this annotate and this arrow just select it once you select it here you have different options available and in each of these options there are different tools okay so for example I just select this insert option so once you select this insert option you have different insert tools available now I want to insert a page so I just select this add page icon so you just select it once you select it here you see you have different options you have line page you have grid and if you just scroll you have more options okay so for example I select this blank page you can select any color so here is the color option and then you can change the orientation you can change the page count you can add more than one page so for example I just want to add one page I just select ok so here you can see I have this new page added after this page okay so here you can see and now for example if I want to annotate this page if I want to write something I can do my annotation on this page as well now let's say you want to see all of your pages so here you see these dots okay just select it once you select it here it will show you all your uh, PDF pages and you can directly go to any page by just selecting it for example I want to go into this page I just select it and the page will open guys if you want to delete a page you can also do it by just selecting this option of browse thumbnails just select it so here you have all your pages now for example I want to delete this page so I press and hold it like this the page is now selected and here you see this 
delete option just select it and the page is now deleted and then you can go back and here you can see the last page that i delete is no more available the next tool that i want to mention here is signature tool so if you just go over here and you see this option of fill and sign just select it once you select it here you have all your tools available the first tool over here is about signature so you just select it so here you see this option of create signature just select it and now here you can create your signature for example i just put my signature like this and you can change the color so whatever you want you can do over here now once you finish you just press done and now wherever you want to put your signature you just use your s pen and then just uh, tap on the screen like this and your signature is added the next tip is about inserting image into your pdf file so for example i want to insert one image over here so what i will do i just select this arrow and here i select this insert option and here i select this image tool okay and then i tap on my screen like this and here you can select any source from where you want your image so i just select this gallery okay and then i select uh, this camera and here for example i want to select this image so now here you can see the image is now inserted into my pdf file i can make its size bigger i can crop it if you want to crop you can also crop it okay so i will show you so for example i want to crop it like this and then if you want you can also add a comment in this image whatever comment you want to add and then you can save it now if you want you can also rotate it so here you can see you can rotate your image as well the next tip is about drawing different shapes into your pdf file so for example if you want to draw any kind of shape so what you will do is you just select this arrow and here you see this option of draw just select it once you select it here you can see you have different shape tools available so for example i select this tool and here you can see i can create this kind of shape i can create like this kind of circle or i can create this kind of shape so there are different shapes option available then if you want you can also select this arrow you can create arrow shapes so there are different shape tool available the next tip is about a rearrangement of pages and rotation of pages so for example if you want to rearrange these pages so what you can do you just select these three dots okay and here you see this option of edit pages just select it once you select it here you can see you can add page you can delete page or you can rotate and rearrange so if i just select this rearrange option so here you can see i have all my pages in front of me now for example i want to put this last page in the top so i will just press and hold it like this and i can easily drag it so here you can see i put it on the first position like that so this is how you can rearrange the page once you finish you just go back okay go back again so here you can see your last page is now in the top okay so here you can see so this is how you can rearrange your pages the next step is about rotation of pages so for example i just select these three dots and then i select this edit pages option and here you see this option of rotate just select it once you select it here you can see this page is now selected now i can rotate it so here you can see i just select this tool i can rotate it any position so for example i want to rotate it like this and then i press ok so now you can see this page is now rotated the next tool is the search tool so if you want to search any word in your pdf you can use this search tool just select it and here you can search anything in your document for example i want to search this poor okay so i just write it so here you can see it will highlight all uh, the uh, poor words in my pdf file so here you can see the next tool is about page settings so you can change the color of pages and more for example here you see this option of view mode just select it once you select it here you can see you can change the color okay so here you can see i can make it dark or i can make it like this color if i just select these three dots and then i have more color options so i can select any color from here so for example i select this color i press ok so this is how my page now look like okay so you can change the color again if i just select it i can make it like a normal color and then if you want you can select the viewing mode as double so there are double pages available in your pdf so i just select this double and then i press ok so here you will see there are two uh, pages available so two pages at the same time so this is how it looks like 
so there are a lot of tools available for example i select this annotate option so here for example if you select this text strike out tool so if you just select any text and then it will show you like this it will do the text strike out and then we have like this uh, squiggly tool so if i just select it like this so here you can see this is how it looks like so guys once you finish a video your pdf annotation you can export your pdf files so you just select these three dots and then here you see this option of export so here you see it is showing you the identical copy so you can export in identical copy flatten copy reduce file size copy permanently cropped copy or password protected copy so you can select any of uh, these five formats and then for example if you want to share your um, annotated pdf you can just select this share option and here it will show you all the platforms where you can share your pdf file now in the second part i will show you how to annotate pdf files in samsung notes so i will open the samsung notes and here you see there is a small icon of pdf plus just select it once you select selected here you can select your pdf file for example i select this pdf file and then i press done now it will add this pdf file into my samsung note so here you can see this is the pdf file now for example uh, if you want to use different tools so all the tools are available on top so for example the first tool is the pen tool so you have different pen options with different thickness and different colors so here you can write on your pdf okay so here you can see this is how you can write on your pdf for example if you want to use the highlighter so here is the highlighter tool so we have four different highlighters for example i select this highlighter and then you can highlight anything in your pdf file so here you can see i can highlight anything in my pdf file then if you want you can also create different kind of shapes in your pdf so here is the shape tool so you just select it and then you can create any shape so here you can see it will make it neat for me for example i want to create a different shape over here so here you can see i create this shape so it will make it neat for me the next tool is the text tool so for example if you want to write some text so you just select your keyboard select the area where you want to write for example i want to write over here okay so i just start writing so here you can see you can write your text as well the next tool is the s pen to text tool so you can use your s pen to write any kind of text so here is the s pen to text tool so you just select it and then you can write okay and it will convert it into the text so here you can see it converted into the text now if you want to see all of the pages in your pdf you just select this option of page sorter okay so once you select it here it will show you all your pdf pages now here you can see the total pages are 473 so you can directly access to any page from here for example i want to go to page number 28 so i just select it and it will come into the page 28 the next step is about adding pages to your pdf file so if you want to add a page you just select this page sorter okay and here you have your pages and now for example you want to insert a page after this page so you just select these three dots and you select this add page option so once you select it here it will show you different templates so you can select any template for example i select this template so now you can see the page is now added after this page and here you can do all your pdf annotations the next step is about inserting image or inserting text from google into your pdf file so what you can do is take out this edge panel and then open the internet browser in the split screen mode like this so here you can see i search some images on google so for example you want to insert this image into your pdf you just press and hold it with your s pen and you can directly drag into your pdf file like this okay and then here if you want you can change its size so here you can see you can also rotate it you can also crop it now for example i want to insert some text from google so i will open a website for example i open this website now i want this text into my pdf file so i just select it like this okay and then again i press and hold it and i directly drag it into my pdf file so here you can see and then once i finish i can just uh, do all the annotation i can just highlight it i can just write here 
okay so here you can see this is how it looks like the next step is about invite collaborators in your pdf annotation so you can invite other people in your pdf annotation as well so they can also annotate your pdf file so you just select these three dots and here you see this option of invite collaborators just select it once you select it here you can select share link option so it will create a link for you okay so i will show you the link uh, will be created and then you can share that link with your friends with your colleagues so here you can see the link is now created so here is the link so you can share that link uh, with uh, your friends using different platforms and then once they open the link they can also add it they can also annotate this pdf file the next tip is about voice recording during your pdf annotation so guys you can uh, do the voice recording as well so what you can do is just select this insert icon and then select this voice recording option so once you select it it will start recording the voice so for example you have a lecture going on and in the meantime you want to uh, annotate your pdf file as well so you can do both things so here is the recording going on and then here you can also annotate your pdf file once you finish it you can just stop it the recording will be saved automatically and then later you can play it so guys once you finish with your pdf annotation you can export it in six different formats you just select these three dots and then here you see this option of save as file so you just select it once you select it here you can see you can save it as a pdf file you can save it as samsung notes file you can save it as word powerpoint image image or text file and then if you want to share you can just select these three dots again here is the share icon just select it so here again it will show you six different formats you can share it in any of these formats so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much